Actually, I think I've, <laughs> I've prepared the run and gun documentary work. Because that one, even if you're alone, you can just, you know, carry your stuff, go and set up report. Narratives, a different ballgame, man. This is a short film. Like, it's a short film. And already, Charlie, it's been how many months preparing for it? Like, three months or four months preparing for this short film. Hello and welcome to another video here on the channel. My name is Kwame and in this video, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my short film, Jolt. Well, this is more like a walkthrough of how we got it done. Now, this film is inspired by my own personal experiences with my father. And I'm going to share more information on what it meant for me when I make that breakdown video after officially premiering the film. So yeah, please stay tuned for that one. So I wrote this film in January of this year, yeah, and I promised myself that as a filmmaker, I would explore projects like this, um, short films and other things to offer up my portfolio. So before we get into how it was shot, here's a little snippet of the film Jolt. It's been colored and edited, but not final. Enjoy. <laughs> You know, I can't believe it that we are sitting here sharing a beer. <laughs> it's funny, you know, because I, I remember how even when I was 18, you would you'd be so angry anytime I came close to your drinks. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, I really want to thank you for this. I'm really happy to be here and it means a lot to me. Come on, look, don't, don't, don't make this weird. We're having a great evening. Let's, let's just chill, you know? <laughs> I know, I know. Fachemi, um, I didn't expect this. Uh -huh. I've been meaning to ask ever since I got in here. Well, glass is now with shadow. And yeah, for life, and, uh, it's a programming thing. Or you can't see sharp now. Dad, did you, did you just try to make a programming joke? <laughs> you have no idea how I've been rehearsing and waiting for this moment. I'm proud of you, Charlie. You've done real good for yourself. Now I wish I'd allowed myself to listen more to everyone around me. Okay, let me know. So, call time was at 1 p.m., even though the film was set in the evening because we only had one day to shoot and we needed to make sure that we had ample time to cover everything. We spent the first few hours running errands like, you know, getting food and refreshment for the crew, as well as making sure that all props and other needed items were taken care of. Again, ample time to cover everything, making sure Everything was set. So after that, the team and I, mostly the cinematographers, had discussions on how to execute the shots as everything was happening in one space. It needed to be dynamic enough to engage our audience throughout the dialogue, which makes up, you know, 90% of the film. At the point, you put pressure on your whole boy, where do they feel looking at Doing all those things. In the end, when the guy has already yeah. apologized, we do the OTSs yeah. for that. Yeah. And then we do the imposts when we want to. As and when you feel like, because I feel like, I mean, I mean, because I used to edit, I sometimes feel like, okay, the story might be, you might feel this way, but when you're going to post, Sometimes you feel like there's a certain emotion that you probably didn't see 
that you might want to connect them. Want to, yeah, exactly. But you have shot clean for it. Yes. Okay. So let's just do that so you have it. Because we knew we were gonna shoot late into the night, we had our lunch before we got ready for the setup. It was all hands on deck for the setup. What seemed like a simple looking scene took a lot of time to get it just right. Let's talk about lights. Okay, my name is Kwame Bodhi. I'm a co DP on the set. And let's talk about the lighting. So, this happens to be our key light. It's motivated by um, our motivation basically is like a fixture in the room sort of an overhead fixture and light in this space we chose a warmer feel just to make the room feel hot like given the the, the nature of the scene is very interrogative so it's something to make the viewer feel uncomfortable sort of like bring more heat into the scene sort of yeah generally and we are contrasting that with uh, a daylight um, temperature, temperature and light coming from the outside, just to create like some kind of contrast. We're probably gonna have this cyan or something to create even more contrast within the scene. So yeah. Okay, yeah. So we're using the V Raptor, 8K V Raptors. <laughs> 8K red V Raptors. Yeah, we have like four of those in set. Yeah, Femi Kwame is the executive producer, so... Ah, but you still don't need it, though. <laughs> Cameras. So, we are using two six cables with um, 50mm and then 50mm on this one too as well. With a filter and a black magic one on about eight on both cameras. And then there's a transmitter on the back of the ITS monitor too. We had initially decided to go for a three camera setup, one wide or master shot, and two over the shoulder medium close up shots. But on second thought, we chose to go with two cameras so that we can film the master later. Now, this meant that we had to do more takes, but in the end, it made sense for this project. We thought we were going to spend about three hours shooting, but we ended up spending about five hours, which was well worth it because we managed to finish it all in one day as planned. Now I have to say a big shout going out to all the amazing people who made this idea a reality. The dedication to this project was truly inspiring and I can't wait to share some lessons I learned while making this short film and how much it cost to make it in my next video on this project. Thank you so much for watching and keep your eyes peeled out on my social media for the announcement on when and where we're going to premiere it and how you can be a part of that too. Cheers and catch you in the next one. You are real good for yourself. Now I wish I'd allowed myself to listen more to everyone around me. Okay, you know what I mean? Okay, bye.